the upper bracket finals of the VCD Champions 2023. Paper X vs Evil Geniuses, the Alphas of the Pacific going up against the villains of the entire Valorant world. A matchup that seemed to be one written for the history books. A story that had two very distinctive roots. One who became the best by playing the game for the fun of it, and one who became the best by outright improving as a team game after game with discipline. And by every second of this series, this story did not disappoint. Los Angeles was blessed with a game of Valorant that Paper X made sure would put their names into the Valorant's list of Eternals. Whether or not this team wins champions, PRX have definitely shown one of the craziest runs in this esports infant history and put a cherry on top of that cake by beating one of the most powerful teams currently on planet Earth. In simple words, they slayed the demon. Here's how PaperX humbled Valorant's big bad villains, evil geniuses, and took their rightful spot at the Valorant Champions Grand Finals. Both EG and PaperX till date have never won an international trophy in Valorant, and this match would at least give them a chance to fight for it by securing the final spot. We started off on Ascent, a map that EG really really enjoy and play very meticulously. And they did so as well. But it wasn't like that in the beginning of it. Paper X's Reina comp is an anomaly because no one really thinks about using that agent unless it's ranked. PRX started off on that map really well and took very early control and showed aggression in a way that EG just couldn't handle. The Forsaken combo with the Harbor and the something Reina were just too good and were absolutely throttling the way into every bomb site with the attacking half starting. But EG had one anomaly for that series of their own. And no, it was no demon. It was no weird agent, it was calm on the sofa. Clutch? After Clutch... After Clutch... Thanks to Calm, EG were able to deviate from an almost devastating first half to a 5-7 respectable scoreline. It seemed like PRX were ready for everything and anything and their confidence was boosting through the roof, but EG's structured attacking half was no match for Paper X. It went toe-to-toe -to -toe for the first couple of rounds, all while EG were pivoting around the momentum of their initiator, trying to let him be the superstar of this game. He found his ways and kills as much as he did and the rest of EG were focusing on the objectives which worked perfectly as Evil Geniuses ended Ascent with a lot of hard work which rewarded them with the victory. But the round that probably changed PRX's fate was yet again another calm clutch. PaperX left the stage feeling like they really lost a map that should have been theirs whilst EG exited amidst the roars of the home crowd cheering for them. It seemed like their lost confidence had been found and was already rocketing to space before Bind. But little did they know what was about to follow. Bind started off with PaperX kind of feeling lost just as much as the end of Ascent. They were trying to find their footing as Com continued to be his utmost brilliant self possible. EG was surfing on the sound waves of the home crowd and everybody on their team was just in the zone. Something wasn't feeling great for Paper X, neither was he able to connect any of his shots. On the other hand, Demon 1 finally woke up and was mentally trying to break his opponents too. Com was still clutching. Paper X were trying everything possible under the sun on their attack. If not anything, all of what we were witnessing was pointing in the direction of an EG 2-0 win. But PaperX are a team who just does not give up. Their resilience is unwavering. While the half ended 5-7 against them, it should have been way more with the way EG were playing. But then, Demon1 did this in their attacking pistol and people thought it was over. He started teabagging, BMing them, and well, PaperX were clearly under a lot of pressure. They were down 9 to 5, and just when it seemed to be done, something did this to show how troll PaperX truly are. Yeah. 
This man is on three kills right now as the reigner of his team. And he went ahead and knifed his opponent to regain his smile and confidence. What a chad and what a moment to find a knife. And it was that very round, ladies and gents, that started what was the Paper Rex bullet train of a comeback. EG, I believe, started getting a little overconfident and overheated and Paper X took the advantage by one player and one ultimate stepping up from that round forward in almost every round they won. Whether it was Forsaken or Jing or Dawai or this confidence surviving clutch from something on EG's rotation. Paper X overthrew the evil to put up a staggering comeback victory. Something needed the op to feel himself again and Dawai just led the team with example with multiple rounds with multi-kills. Towards the end, EG practically looked like a headless chicken running around just getting covered from every corner and they were just desperate for a single round after their ninth. Demon 1's taunting proved to be a measure for his own trolling through the audiences as Paper X took us to the final map of Pearl. Pearl now was a map that everyone was fidgety about because it would have Paper X's Phoenix comp go up against EG's Yoru. Two very unique compositions of agents on a map that usually no team tries to go for because of how dangerously Pearl can punish you for not playing for pure info. But this was Paper X and Evil Geniuses, so they of course went crazy. Ethan started popping off from the first round itself. The minute he got onto the Yoru, it seemed like he'd forgotten his underwhelming performance in the previous two maps and was staring down Paper X from the get-go. EG started rather really well on Pearl. It seemed like every single cog in their machine was working perfectly, well-oiled and they were winning their duels, trade fragging, able to find information when required and even after Paper X managed to equalize and were trying to keep up with the pace of EG, it was seemingly clear that Evil Geniuses had more control over the first few rounds of the game and the pace as well. PRX needed a savior, a step up. And who better to pick it up where Com left off, the top G himself, Mindfully. PRX were able to provide a few miraculous moments that came off of individual stardom and strung together six rounds in a row. It almost looked like Paper X were taking the game back into their hands, but EG had a whole new momentum shift coming in their favor. They went from 3 6 to 6 6 to 11 6, putting up eight rounds in a row. And it all started with this insanity from Demon 1. Round after round after round, EG just kept pumping out crazy outplays and were able to find an advantage, finding a pick that gave them the round advantage pretty easily. Paper X were looking almost finished here, dejected, lost, unmotivated. The crowd was all for the geniuses. They were making mistakes, taking unnecessary open-ended fights and losing them too. Paper X were just not ready. But something changed. One round. They won it, broke EG's winning streak, bought themselves one extra breath of fresh air. Even that round was unnervingly close and required another clutch from Mindfreak. On to the next. They won another. An expected flank from something and another round, another clutch from Mindfreak. The next, Mind Freak's confidence started slowly streaming into his teammates as they pulled out a really clean and well executed retake on A, and EG honestly could literally do nothing. Wanted to be able to snap back oh. into it. Wait, this is so hard for Paper X. Wow. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. 
suddenly starts falling apart here with the side. What a on our... Dog about. They'll be trying to spray. Wait, Managed time. to catch one. The jet's gonna be taken away. The half. Still four members of trying oh, to shoot through there, just holding one more than a few. Oh, oh, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't 11-10. From here, it was all about just winning the damn rounds, one by one. Not caring about who gets how many kills or who dies. For now, it was just securing the objective. Another solid retake execute with Jinx taking the defuse as Demon1 comes on his lurk a little too late after all his teammates have died. 11-11. At this point, you can see that EG are sweating. They're starting to feel a little nervousness creep into their spines as they are watching their opponents right in front of their eyes making a comeback that they are visibly scared of. EG make a last ditch attempt to not let this slide the wrong way and commit to the A side with three big ultimates to force match point and force PRX to concede a round. And even though the crowd absolutely loved it, You could see that EG's players were not celebrating just yet because they knew it wasn't going to be over this easy. And in the end, it was time for Jason Sasanto to rise up to the occasion. Overtime. A situation that EG did not expect at all being 11-6 up, but now they face the gods of the Pacific in the most highly pressured situations we've seen in Champions yet. Once they entered overtime, Paper X were devoid of all the feelings that they had just 20 minutes earlier. They reached a whole new form and were confident as they could ever be. Even when the odds were stacked up high against them, they knew that they could win because Davai and Forsaken are just too freaking good. Five minutes later, swarming him, getting in behind the flash across. Mind freak about to swing the corner. He does so, and he puts him down. Fifteen to three, a two and one victory. Paper X, they advance into the grand finals. What a comeback victory, what a series, and a match that was worthy of a grand final that could be witnessed again definitely in the actual grand finals. But just with this win, Paper X have shown that they are truly one of the best ever we've seen who've come this far by playing because they just love having fun with one another and in game too. Whether or not they win champions, we'll find out. But this Paper X win is one for the history books.